Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, I will communicate Siemens S7200 Smart ST30 PLC with Siemens Logo PLC by get and put instruction. I will send 2 second clock pulse from ST30 to Logo PLC and receive DI status of Logo PLC to ST30. Before we start, kindly subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Okay. Now, my ST30's IP is 192.168.0.1 and logo PLC IP is last 0.2. In ST2, ST30, I will create a 2 second on off timer and also trigger output 0.0. .0. And using put instruction, I will trigger Q1 in logo PLC. Then, Using get instruction in ST30, I will get the status of I1 of logo PLC and generate an output at Q0.2. Okay, let's start with my going smart. In this first step, I will create 2 second on and off pulse. using two different timers we want this to 0.0 Okay, now let's download this program to our PLC and we will test it. Downloading, it will stop the PLC, download it. Okay, let's uh, debug this program by going online okay this task is not going online because uh, we require to call this subroutine in ob1 any subroutine or any task that we create we require to call in ob1 By default, M10.0 is uh, false, so NC contact will give you always one. So this subroutine will be always high. Now, now you can observe our CPU output underscore output zero, that is 0, 0.0, is triggering on and off every two seconds. You can notice here on PLC. Okay, now second step, we will configure output Q1 in logo PLC. We don't require this to hold it here. Okay.
now we will use this network input notice this address is v0.0 downloading this program okay now simulating this v0.0 we will test the output q1 So from here you can also test but yeah you can see here this uh, lamp is on we will uh, trigger this v0.0 by using put instruction in st30 So this one is 0.0. Now let us configure put instruction in S7200 smart VLC using this get and put wizard. Create an operation and give any name. Now here in operation configure the type either get or put number of bytes that we want to transfer from which memory we want to transfer our data that is QB and where we want to transfer that is destination address of the destination PLC and address So this address range is occupied by get and put instruction. Make sure you are not using this in your program. Click generate. Now this task is created. We will also configure this communication error. When communication fails, it will generate output Q 0.4. Let us call our newly created subroutine task. Out. and configure the address where, where we want to put our error it is Q0.4 ok selling our project
right now my cable is not connected with the destination PLC that's why this error is showing you can notice here this error LED is already on now I'm connecting both this PLC now this error LED went off and we are receiving status of DO of ST30 PLC to our logo PLC as soon as this error is broken and uh, this communication is broken error LED will light up and the Q1 will hold the last status now, now we will configure DI I1 in local PLC and then we will read the status of I1 in our ST30 PLC sending status of I1 to network output say so for example we are placing this uh, value to V4.0 Taking online now I'm, now I'm giving input one to the PLC and you can notice your red color. Now let us configure get instruction to get the status of input I1 of logo PLC. Now using the same wizard we will create a new operation. And we will configure this data here. This will be a get instruction. Number of bytes that we want to get address where we want to receive and address of remote CPU and here is the memory allocation for internal operation of get and put instructions Okay. Now we are getting data on address V4.0. And we will trigger an output Q0.2. in the project okay now let's download right now the cable is connected with my laptop so once we go online it is showing this communication error as ethernet cable is not connected with logo PLC Okay, now I'm connecting this cable back to logo PLC and it will start communicating. Now this error 
LED is gone. This two second on off pulse. Now this input to the logo PLC will trigger an output at Q0.2. So this way you can communicate between ST200 Smart PLC and Local PLC by get and put instruction. I hope you find this video helpful to you. Subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you very much.